you, if, could, you can pick, just pick random names out of that generation and just tell them if people are cancelled and they become cancelled now, can't yeah, you? Yeah, or throw yeah. names out there. Pop Dale Winton, he's cancelled. Yeah. Well, his dad, he's ultimate cancelled. <laughs> 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 ah, that's, that's, that's how they should start referring to it from now on. Uh, I'm really sorry. Um, I was going to say Mrs. Winton. No. Um, I'm really sorry, um, uh, Other Mr. Winton. Other, other Mr. Winton. Um, Dale is, uh, he's ultimate cancelled. <laughs> No! You've got five. You've got three minutes to get as much of his stuff in this trolley. <laughs> Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Welcome to Dead Men Talking. Joining us today is co-host for the day, comedian Tom Deacon. Hey. And our guest, who may or may not have already had an edible in the uh, Patreon episode that we've just recorded. All right, fans. All right, fans. <laughs> <laughs> might have done. <laughs> How's it sitting with you? Is it, so is I, it hit? Right, to be honest, I think I've absolutely firmed it. And I was going to ask, might have another one, but... Yeah. If, yeah, you want, you, if you want another one, have another one. Have another one. I'll, I'll another one, have another one. I told you, I'm a heavyweight. Tom, so give me another one. Try to get him another one. And by the yeah. way, they're double it's, strength. Oh, it's on that. It's on that top shelf. Yeah, apparently, right? double strength. Are you going to be able to reach? Probably not. We've got to step like that. No, no. They're there, aren't they? No, no, no. no that's they're, just the, they're they're on the top thing. Let's be comfortable. Let's get you. Yeah. Let's get you another edible. Why not? We yeah, thought we thought that just one would be enough, but clearly not. No, never enough. One's never enough. Shout out to Green Angel, by the way. Playing a dangerous game, but you know, this is Hollywood, baby. Before we started this, you. You were saying about um, uh, you were saying about Pat Sharp being cancelled. Apparently, yeah. What for? Because he was doing some corporate gig or whatever, and he was uh, he presented a T-shirt to a woman mm. um, when it had a picture of his face on it, and he cracked some gag about how oh, that's the only way I'll be getting on your tits. Boom, that was it, said, done, cancelled. But yeah. all that good work yeah. out the window. Fun ass. When the so fun what? stops, stop. <laughs> and by the way, <laughs> them, oh, me, this, no, 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 the fun, fun house. You oh, did I the show. meant that. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Easy, light work. Told you. Um, <laughs> Double strength, please, apparently. We'll see. I mean, you, you're, you're very mellow and relaxed. And I think I'm that's... showing off. I'm badly showing off. I'm so <laughs> off by nature. Sorry. But I'm a calm guy. <laughs> to be honest with you, when you book Pat Sharp, what do you expect? Do you know you expect I mean? the twins. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you expect, expect the, the twins. twins. You do expect the twins. And the although, go-kart at the end, and you the have to go the tokens. Yeah. Oh, oh, I love that. Although, the, show. although the twins now, I imagine, are... Uh... They were ropey anyway. Were they? Yeah, no, I don't remember them. them. I, don't, I don't remember them ropey. I remember them being like... Oh, they yeah. look cool. We should, oh, go, yeah, cool. we should go for like pick a mix together. At the together. time, they were, they were <laughs> the same. sounds like a euphemism. But in but... hindsight, I guarantee you, look, hey, I'll get them up. I think. I bet, what no, they... I think they're both beautiful. No, they're all right. <laughs> right. One of them's all right. Maybe it was the outfits. The one, I don't know, but... the one on the left's nice, actually. What they... do you mean? What? They're identical twins. <laughs> no, go, to, go to that photo to the left. Photo to this photo. Get that up. Oh, yeah. The one on the left's nice. The other one ain't. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's yeah. a shame for her. I think it's just... Imagine being the ugly identical <laughs> twin. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gutted. Yeah. Ugly, but I can ones, actually, I can actually yellow... tell you apart because only one of you is sexually attractive. <laughs> yeah. no, the, the yellow one. What if he kills my boner? But what, what are they doing now? What are their names? Can we... Melanie and Martina, mate. Sure. <laughs> M&M's. That's too quick. That's, too where, quick. that's where the M&M's came from. The what? yellow and the red. They were yeah. always in yellow and red. That's where they've stolen well, they the M&M's right. advert. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? The yellow and red. That's no, it. That, red, that red one ain't aged well there. Look, that's she. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> What a hobbit. <laughs> Druid. <laughs> Look, there what do you what once you've hit such a high in your life, yeah. in your career, mm. where do you go after that? Mm, it's tough, isn't it? This is it. And Pat Sharp's made t shirts with his own face on. No one's asked him to. <laughs> and he started, yeah. he started giving them out. That's the only time I've been in your tits. I'm a bloke. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Pat Sharp has really managed to prolong how much he's in the public eye for. 
Because he should have just fucked off years ago. I think he did, didn't he? And then everyone was like nostalgic for yeah, him and then brought him yeah. back. Yeah. And that's what it was. But now he's cancelled. And now he's cancelled again. Do you reckon we'll get uh, like nostalgic for him again in another 20 years? Is Timmy Mallet still cancelled? Well, he was cancelled at the time, but still had work. If, if, you, if, can, you can pick, just pick random names out of that generation and just tell them if people are cancelled and they become cancelled now, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. throw if, names out there. Paul Dale Winton, he's cancelled. Yeah. Well, he's dead. He's ultimate cancelled. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's how they should start referring to it from now on. Uh, I'm really sorry. Um, I was going to say Mrs. Winton. No. Um, I'm really sorry. Um, uh, other Dale's, Mr. Winton. Other, other Mr. Winton. Um, Dale is, uh, he's ultimate cancelled. <laughs> no! You've got five. You've got three minutes to get as much of his stuff in this trolley. <laughs> go, go, go! Get an inflatable. <laughs> That's how they should have done the funeral. Just wheeling his coffin around, coffin round. <laughs> Buried round his house you get right go in see what you can find yeah. <laughs> that was his will <laughs> <laughs> and I and I leave you 15 minutes in my house <laughs> oh. Fuck it. hey do you know what right you know how we're running a shit of the year competition well you guys don't know this so we decided for a while we ran uh, best uh, worst dick competition right and we got it judged Finally. by uh, only fans models and dominators. people sent us their dicks people sent, pe stuff. people sent us their dicks and it was uh it, it was some people out there who listen to this you've caught absolutely awful dicks <laughs> did you have a winner though did oh, you? oh god yeah, yeah. yes how <laughs> that guy hasn't killed himself i do not no, know no, did you have a winner like a best dick no, oh, no, 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 no. It was just sorry, sorry. the winner of the worst dick is de facto the best dick. Um, now we're doing shit of the year, right? So people are sending in their shits and we are putting them into categories based on like biggest, longest, um, best whatever. Shape. Now, anyway, I anyway, right? Mm. I um, actually met somebody at a gig on Wednesday that came up to me mm. and said, you talked about one of my shits on the podcast. Right? I knew it was, and you said, I and, thought it was you. <laughs> I recognise you anyway. And, and I said to him, oh, which one was it? And he said, mine is in its own category, most likely to have cancer. Oh, Phil Southam. Yeah, so, I met, so I, met, I met him. He came up to me after a gig and he, uh, he, he doesn't look like he's got long. Well, <laughs> there has been an update in the most likely to have cancer. It, what he has got? Well... Shut the Phil fuck up. Phil Southland. Shut the fuck up. Phil Southland. If you're going to tell me that he actually has cancer now. Phil Southland has sent us an email. <laughs> he is going to the hospital to check himself to see if he has got cancer. What's happening there? He has not revealed if he does have cancer yet, but he's sent us some more pictures. <gasps> oh, come on. Oh, no. No. Phil. So Phil may or may not have cancer. He's not revealed where he has got it yet. So Phil. please get in touch, Phil. Phil, your thoughts are with you. Gone, However, he's, he's, there is a further update. His poos look like Elton John's after a night out. <laughs> there is oh. a further update Go on. in most likely to have cancer. Right. Phil is not the winner at the moment. Phil's not the winner. There's somebody who's worse than this. Uh, the, so That's someone else has emailed phone. <laughs> someone else has emailed us in. Right. They so want to so. stay anonymous. They want to stay anonymous. They are currently in the lead of most likely to have cancer. Oh, God. Because they have cancer. <laughs> what? Here is someone with bowels, some bowel cancer. This is, this is his shit. Oh. I prefer his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He's got his thumb up. He's, he's I happy. I can't take my eyes off. Do you know what? Head. If we do a, a worst hand of the year, <laughs> then, then that is honestly hand that is most likely to have cancer. Well, we'd better do it quick. Yeah. Mate, I'm not being funny, bloke who said this. You already won it, mate. You ain't beating that. Your hand looks like Billy Burham. <laughs> the more you look at it, I love the fact he's that those knuckles, right, are so white. He's forcing that thumbs up after a shit. Mate, I think yeah, I can yeah. tell what kind of cancer he has. <laughs> like, look at that. Why Claire's is his region, hand... Isn't he? Claire's region. Yeah, why is his hand so white <laughs> no, no, and also so red at the same time? Because he's from Glasgow, mate. You maybe because of the cancer? You need, <laughs> or maybe right. Belfast. Can I, ju can I just mention the fact that after a shit like that, you're going to need a lot more paper. So that is a bloke who's done one piece and gone, right, we'll get the rest in a second. Let's just get this picture now. Or yeah, he's yeah, gone, yeah. that's enough, and now he's got just got a shitty ass. Oh, also Maybe that's well. how he got cancer. It looks worse <laughs> on that screen. Yeah, look, there's more detail. Yeah, that's <laughs> also as well, the way he's wiped detail. his ass, it th there's one clump of shit 
on that toilet roll and then there's nothing on the toilet roll. Yeah, yeah it's like he's I mean. dabbed it. Yeah. yeah. He's not even wiped. Yeah. yeah, it looks like he's sealed an envelope with his poo. <laughs> so, so, so I went on a um, my stag do last weekend, went to Lisbon, hanging out with my uh, different boys. It's really interesting when you get different groups of guys from different parts of your life yeah. and you go, I hope they get on. So who did you have? Who did we you we, have we cannot wait. They were all like, I cannot wait for the reunion, which is my wedding. <laughs> but so, they are, they're like, love each other. So so who did you have? Like you had mates from school, I imagine. Yeah, mates from school, a few workmates. Comedians? Nah, not no doing comedians. That. Not doing that. That's a good shout. Not doing that. Yeah. Uh, love a lot of comedians, but no, they're not coming on. And then <laughs> uh, got to be the funniest, didn't you? No, no, I would, no. But this is the thing. No, right? they're just sad. All comedians are just sad. <laughs> yeah. So I'm Who's the only cool? comedian, which is great because I was the one having the. I was having a lot of fun. But yeah. They were just trying to break me, and they and they did succeed. But my mate from school is the funniest guy out yeah. of the group, and all the people who know me but never met him were like. He's, why have you never mentioned him before? Name's Martin. He has got a new business idea. Right? And he was explaining, he is able, and that sounds weird, uh, to film himself having a shit just as it comes out. What? Exactly. He's he's worked out the knack. He was explaining, you, yeah, I've got to have a piss before. And then you've got, if not, you've got to hold it really hard at the end. He said, there's got to be a market for that with the shit at the top. And we're doing a competition of shit in filming it coming out it's like a natural like I'll, sure be, that- I'll be honest I'm on our discord a lot and yeah. there is a, a part of our discord for shit of the year yeah your friend does not have a unique talent <laughs> no 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 I'm not saying, <laughs> no. It, it, there are a lot of videos of shits on our discord <laughs> this is what I mean I, 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 I didn't know you're sitting I, on a gold mine buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so what I think what I think Martin's done there is he's thought to himself I'm out with a load of lads and I don't want them using my phone <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to if I say guys I don't want you going on my phone yeah, texting yeah. my missus that's all because the, that's what a stag do you know yeah, yeah so what he's done is he's gone I use this phone to record my own shits yeah but but, but if he, he's like thinks there's a goblin he's like there's going to be some nutter in I don't know he's like in Japan or something that just wants to see a shit I mean it is up. always Japan isn't it's it it's got to be and, and he's like I'm onto a gold mine here and then he, he's going to sell it. I, so what looking at this I'm like I know it exists because my mate Martin is into this world of well yeah. it's I mean, a very popular competition I mean, we've had like 50 entries I mean, now well, he wants- your mate Martin he's not in his 50s and bald, is he? No, no. He hasn't got cancer. Uh, I'm glad no, to say. No, no, no. That's not the joke. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the joke is that we have naked Martin who covers himself in shit all the time. Oh, that's... Oh, no. Mate, why'd you point at me? <laughs> no, the no, picture no, behind you. There's a picture behind you. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. But he... The perfect poo right, is where it, there's no breakage. He said that's the ultimate goal. Yeah. If he can I've get... I've done some beauties well, in my time. Well, have you? Stood up. I don't mind what's fucking stood up once. You, what the shit stood Bro. up? Yeah, it stood up straight. I swear then. What like a <laughs> yeah, like an obelisk on, on holiday? It was on holiday. Like the Washington Monument. Mate, honestly, it stood. <laughs> the word obelisk. That, that brings us nicely to slushy. Oh, what? This is what someone sent in. Look at wow. that! It's not even made it. Oh no, he no, is standing. He's taking a, a photo. It's not a tail. Mid shit. <laughs> That's actually uh, Stagler tights because tights go <laughs> as opposed to Stagler mites, which go up. Uh, that is horrific. He's he stood up. It's very dark, isn't it? Wow, very dark, man. That. that is long. That's a long, unbroken shit. That's got to be some sort it of. It also <laughs> it also looks like the toilet bowl at like your grand's house or something, doesn't it? <laughs> That requires a steady stance, <laughs> not to shake it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, to and, a, and a steady to push, like that's that's oh, Pilates wow. pushing. He's been that, practicing there, yeah. mate. I wonder how many yeah. attempts it took for this. He's got to have won this competition. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait until my my boy Martin gets yeah. involved now. Now that I know that there's a platform for and a Discord, you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Martin's gonna love this. Is a game. Yeah, changer. the dead men talking Discord. Don't enter it lightly. It is. Um, yeah. Oh, it's it's the fucking wild west. We have some more biggins here. If you'd like to see some biggins, here's Calvin. Okay. This is a Gillian McKeith's wet dream, this. Do you remember her? Uh, I do remember her. Yeah, mine was not. like that, but mine was stood up. Like, it was that kind of form and shape. Yeah, that could go on forever, Sorry. really. 
That's the ice going around the bend, isn't it? Yeah. Huge. That is a huge shit, Calvin. Well yeah. done. Well done Calvin. Are they dark, what they've eaten? Very the dark. Hours, <laughs> nice, nice, I, nice. I think people are taking it so seriously, they're changing the diet to try and win this competition. <laughs> Who's that woman who did the, did the farts in a jar, was making 40 grand a week and then... Now, had... it wouldn't strike me if it wasn't Belle Delphine or somebody like that. That's but, that's in her wheelhouse, she, isn't but, it? But she had to be like, taken to hospital because she was just eating so much fibre so to get the farts out. Do you know what? Was... Fair play to these women. I mean, uh, I've, uh, OnlyFans girls are the best businessmen in the fucking world. Yeah. Because they've taken something that you can find for free anywhere, which is puss, and they've managed to convince men to sign up and pay 15 quid a month for it. Well, it's this, more than Netflix. This, this to this see the same pussy you know, over and over and over again. Well, what I will say about them OnlyFans girls is, don't get me wrong, they, they will sell it as, I'm just selling photos, blah, blah, blah. They sweet talk the shit out of them men on the DMs. They, they don't. They don't? Uh, so, so some of them do, and some of them just hire it out. Yeah, but a lot of them do. Like them, sometimes they'll 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 sell it to you. As, oh yeah, it's just photos of me feet and all that. But really, they're spending all night dragging that money out of that silly old cunt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, but and and uh, let's not forget, International Women's Day was only two days ago. I and, love you know, fair, there there wasn't enough mention of only fans. Women who are business entrepreneurs <laughs> who are doing, you know. I want to see only. Fa- I, I want to see only fans apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. what I want to see. Right, okay. I've I've given you ten items to find. What's what's the first one? Dignity. <laughs> <laughs> only fans apprentice. You want to start watching the real apprentice, mate? <laughs> I love. I fucking love the apprentice. Trust me. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you know my <I'm> right. <laughs> I'll t- I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I. All right, fans. They're doing a callback to what we had for lunch before. <laughs> I'll tell you what I uh, have started watching. I fucking. I'm like you. All right, fans. I like my dog shit reality yeah, shows. Trash, right. Trash. What I have started watching recently that I fucking love is Ninety Day Fiance. What is that? Oh, I, I've not watched it. I, I, what is this? God. Ross Clark, that's so a it, series. It's basically uh, mainly men, sometimes women, who are. Fat, ugly, old, or a combination of all three. Okay. Who have got themselves into a relationship with a woman half their age that lives in, let's be fair, a shit country. Um, and they're Luxembourg. like. Luxembourg. Okay. Yeah. They're like, no, I, no, I really love him. I really love, I really love Simon, the 63 <laughs> year old man. I love him. That's how they sound in Luxembourg. Yeah. <laughs> I love him, 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 him. Uh, and then they come over and he's like, hey, hey. he's always at the airport. Like, like, basically, it's 90 days because that's how long you have to, that's how long like a, a, a fiancé visa It's unbelievable. I'm, a, I'm an expert on this show. They got, to, they got to do 90 days, basically, and get married within that a time. A 90-day stretch. But the thing get is, the, the thing is, is if you're- so It's like, like a free trial. Yeah, and you do have sometimes, you do have sometimes, don't get me wrong, there are sometimes women or attractive people who get suckered into this as well. But it's usually ugly ass men with a little bit of money yeah. who get conned into it. Now, a lot, a lot of, them on a lot of shit mustaches. Yeah, yeah, now look, if you're a, if, if, if you're a woman from, let's say, uh, Bolivia or something like that, you can pretend to, yes, I would like to be a dutiful housewife to Simon forever. Yes, you can You can keep that up for a week. Weird maybe accent two. for the Bolivian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, the altitude. Mourinho. it's the altitude. They've she, gone to her <laughs> she, she moved around a lot. Yeah, she, yeah. Uh, she was actually at a Luxembourg International School. That's why she picked up right. the accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you can keep it for a couple of weeks, but 90 days is three months. In three months, crack show and their actual personalities appear. Yeah, Simon's getting hit at some point. This is, mate, the one I'm watching at the moment, big fat guy, this is season four. Oh, big, mate, I know it inside Big out. fat guy called George, right? Big fat dude. Little Russian bird. Yes, and Antifa. <laughs> I love Antisa, this. Antifa, Antifa, something like that. Bitch. Right, he's, he's rich <laughs> as fuck. So this guy, he owns a... Weed shop. Yeah, a weed... But it, it's, it's not... You know, he does, What's he his does, star he's sign? Fucking, <laughs> you know, Mexican. He's, he's, Mexican he's, heritage. He's nailed this, right? He's, so he he found a way of packaging weed in like better ways, but he did it when it was illegal. And then when it became legal, Got it. His, his business is through the roof. But, like, he'll be a millionaire soon, basically. So he's got plenty of money, but he's a big fat lad, basically. She 
is she's a, a miserable little fucker. She's a twenty-year-old miserable little fucker, right? And one time she's re- she's a right cunt. One time they hadn't oh. even been in the country yet, right? Yeah. But they had an argument over the phone. So she, uh, she knew his email address password. She logged into his email, used that to re- reset his Apple ID and reset his whole phone and wiped it. Factory reset it. And yeah. he still went through. Mate, that was th- that's maybe one of the least cunty things she did. The, the episode that I've just watched, they had an argument. And so she keyed idiot into his car. <laughs> she she keyed massive as well, keyed the word idiot into his car. And he was fuming. And he's he, he, he's his big fat dope, bless him. And he's like, oh, yeah, I think this is probably the end for us. And the producers are like, you fucking think, mate. <laughs> so they go off to the airport, right? And the producers are like, we need to go after them. But producers they speed are off. blinding. They're the things they get them to do. Yeah, go on. They speed off, right? Speed off. Anyway, lo and behold, two hours later, they come back. She's still in the fucking car. And uh, she's obviously said something to him on the way that's fucking changed his brain and shit. Fucking mental. No, Absolutely blinding. fucking mental. So season four. Yeah. We, Angela and Michael mean anything to you? <laughs> Angela, Angela and Michael. Which one's that? And Big Ange. <laughs> Big Ange, little Mac. <laughs> Big Ange. I, 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 you no, it's all good. No, yeah. no, no. no I know it. one. I know one. I don't think it's Angela and Michael, but there's one. She's a big girl. And she's like a big girl from Florida, right? And she's a big blonde girl. Says and she's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the guy's not called. I, I think he's called like little African dude. Michael. Yeah, <laughs> Michael. Think about it. He's Angela I don't Michael. Think he's called Mike. Mike. He's from Morocco. He's called like. Oh, G- him. Hello, yeah. Razor or something like that. <laughs> Different couple. Rafiq. Yeah, you know who it is. But, but he's there and, and, and they go over Slimy to Morocco. Slimy little fucker in, mate. No, well, the thing is, like is a they, waiter. they go off. <laughs> the worst kind of person. I'd like this food and this meal oh, as well. Well, that's, Slimy that's how they met. That's how they met. He went to take her order in a restaurant. He was there that long. He went, do you just want to marry? <laughs> No, not really. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to, I know exactly. I, listen, I'm a widow. But I've got Rain Man shit about this show. I love it. She uh, she went to she went over to Morocco, right? And before she goes over there, her whole family, who are all fucking hicks, are like, you do know that over there things are different than round here or whatever. And then she goes over to Morocco and she's like, oh yeah, it is different. Like, And she fucking hates it. She hates it. Because it's no like, you can't be affectionate in public and shit or you're not meant to be. And also as well, I think he's like, oh no, it's my religion. But also he's like, I don't want people seeing. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, It's a great show. Stick with it. Like, There's a lot of boring couples in there, but the goal, the, 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 there's some, It's you can't write that kind of comedy. Oh, it's perfect, isn't it? Great. Like, absolutely. Well, I know loads of, by the way, I look, sorry, I know loads of shit shows like that. Like Doomsday Preppers and all that. Love Doomsday Preppers. I'd love to be a prepper. Really? Yeah, I mean, you that. can be. Yeah, what would you, I can't what would, prep, what would you prep for? <laughs> Same with that other idea. Can't be fucked. What would <laughs> Good you, idea, though. Someone <laughs> should do it. <laughs> I always think, I always think, this is why I'm not a Doomsday Prepper, is because... You eat all the food. I think I eat all the food. <laughs> Twenty twenty three's been eaten again. <laughs> Doomsday prepped. <laughs> Doomsday preppers is unreal. There's a couple on there. They've they've learned to speak the language of Tagalog in case of like societal breakdown, yeah. so they can communicate with each other and the other like looters and that can't understand what they're talking about. I so always... this American couple are like. <laughs> 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 practicing for this fucking anyway what else? I like the idea but that what, they've just what, eaten too much peanut butter you enjoy the show but I want to know what, what what does it make how do you feel about society afterwards like I've not seen these shows I'd love to see them now that you've, oh, you've they're, they're unreal Extreme Cheapskates you ever seen that yeah yeah Extreme Cheapskates is great it. Extreme Cheapskates is, is like well I buy normal toilet paper but what I do is I unfold all of it to make sure that it's one ply and that way I get three times as much it's the, produ- the, the, the producer's got this woman surely she doesn't do this right surely she doesn't do this I, I have to pr- pin the praise on the fucking producers I have to because surely this woman can't do this but she's invited all her neighbours round for Thanksgiving but because she's an extreme cheapskate because <laughs> she's an extreme cheapskate 
they're having a turkey, which might sound like a turkey at first, but it's a turkey made of chicken that she's <laughs> stitched together. Stitched together? <laughs> Mate, you've got to watch it. What, like a, like a human centipede yeah, of chicken? Yeah, she's made a fucking turkey out of chicken. I would have thought that that would have been more expensive than just a turkey. Well, that's yeah. what everyone like, says to me, but I swear to God, you've got to watch it. She like makes a, f- a fucking turkey. She wouldn't have called it a turkey for no reason. It is a fucking turkey, <laughs> mate. It's all chicken in a turkey shape. So I don't know how cheap... Well, t- 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 chicken are turkey shapes anyway, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I'm not... Yeah, it's not like you've got to try and make a horse look like a turkey. <laughs> yeah. It's already... Where we start? In fact, in fact if you'd have said it's to me, if, if you'd have got on a table two, two meats, right, and one was a small turkey and the other one was a large chicken, <laughs> I'd have no fucking clue. Yeah, yeah, I'd have no idea at all. I wouldn't know where to start. She fucking made a turkey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, they're, they're blinding. I love it. Extreme. Cheese Have you ever cake. watched? Um, uh, for what is it called? Ink Masters. No, I haven't seen that. Really Ink yet. Masters is one of my favourite ones. You can get it on Amazon Prime. Ink Masters is like it's basically like Great British Bake Off, but tattooists. Okay. Now, when Bake Off is, you know, people are like, oh, Marjorie, your souffle hasn't risen. They're like, oh, bloody hell, what wrong. am I like? With tattooists, you go, oh, you fucked up your leg there. It's like, you fucking what, mate? You fucking what? I did not fuck that leg up. You can fuck yourself. So there's a lot of fucking anger. Customer it's, service. It's people's art, isn't it? Yeah. They also have a thing called the human canvas jury, where they make all the people who've been tattooed sit around and each decide which is the shittest tattoo. <laughs> it's just, it's needless. It's fucking cruel. Every week, they do different styles of tattoos. So obviously... If you're somebody who specialises in, like, traditional tattoos, like, I got, like, fucking traditional stuff and stuff like that, if you're then asking them to do a photorealistic thing of someone's gran, it's going to look shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. So there's there's that element to it as well. And also they do, like, you know, they do mini challenges that usually don't mean anything. Well, in this they mean loads because um, obviously all these people come in and they all have different ideas of what they want tattooed and so some of them are just like oh i just like a fish on my leg you can do whatever you want do you know what i mean uh and other people are like i would like a photorealistic reenactment of the battle of dordogne 1853 to whatever on my ankle please and it's like that's not possible they're like well you need to do it so you can fuck people over by giving them harder tattoos and stuff. It's I'd like a turkey we... tattoo to my leg. A that's jerky. not a turkey. That's a turkey. <laughs> that's, that's a chicken that's been sewn together. You fucking shit, mate. Who are these fucking morons going, I want this really specific tattoo. I'm going to go on a TV show where they're not experts at it. Because they're free. I saw, I, saw, I saw. They're on extreme cheapskates. The, yeah. It's a mashup. But the people who go on Naked Attraction, what are they up to? <laughs> <laughs> How much are you getting paid for that? Surely they're not. not. That's you're the a waiter from New Zealand. You're probably giving you about 300 quid, mate. They don't, get, they don't get paid to go on Naked Attraction. It's free. Fuck off. It's free, yeah. yeah. So, oh, so I, I saw on Instagram, like one Losers. of those scrolling. <laughs> you, this might have been chatted to, but I, I haven't seen it before. This guy's going around, it looks like a car park in America, and he's like, hey, mystery box. Mystery box, you want the mystery the box? All you gotta do is shave your head for the mystery box. Like Get it. the inside, yeah. whatever's in here. And so this, the hairbrush. <laughs> <laughs> and this woman goes, All right, yeah, cool, whatever. She's got like dyed head, shaves, and it's a bad job, and he's just done it. <laughs> he gives her the box, she opens it, it's like 25 cents. <laughs> she was like, This is. This is 25 cents. And he was like, I know, but it was a mystery box. You get, to, you get to keep whatever you want in the box. And I watched that and I was like, why on earth did she do that? Like, it's not miss, it's not the beast. It's no, not but- the guy who's going to give away thousands of pounds or something. Like, do you want something? He's going to shut in that box. And just get, and, but we're, we're now trained. The whole society is trained to be like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, fuck yeah. it. Yeah. The camera's on. Is it rolling? Yeah, the yeah. camera's on. This must be happening. Yeah, this is my moment. Yeah. What, in a tube? You want me to get naked? People will start from it. Yeah, right, cool. <laughs> they're already thinking about starting their own Patreon in their head. They're going to explore. Do you know what? Really Have you seen those ones where they say, uh, would you like um, a dollar or double it and pass it along? Yeah. Those. Yeah. yeah. So I, and and the idea is, is you know, oh, pass it along. So the next person they go, I'm would you like two? I'm every time, mate. Even two quid. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two quid. Would you like two dollars? <laughs> would you like two dollars or double it and pass it along? I saw a really funny one where it was this woman and she goes to this kid, hey, would you like a chromosome or double it and pass it along? And he goes, double it and pass it along. The next one was a kid with Down syndrome. Oh, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it was like, God bless you if you're a parent and you've made that and, and, and everyone's consented because that is a harsh fucking joke. <laughs> but the thing is like now the, the, the world is like, oh, any minute someone's going to come in and go and offer that. Imagine if you did give it away, you know, yeah, here we go. They're going to give me the same money because I did such a good charitable yeah. job and they don't. I'd be fucked off then because <laughs> now I think I'm going to get it. Well, the thing is as well is they always pick people for those videos that look like they don't need anything. It's always like a, a, a 20 year old college girl. that's like, mm, I don't know. Uh, d- double it and pass it all. I want to see it with smack heads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would, you, would you like this pound? Or I'll take the pound. <laughs> Just the whole video. That's literally why I'm sat here, mate. <laughs> too quid for me. Would you ever double it and pass it along? Nah, I'm not fuck. Would you five p? If I went up to you and let's would say we, you? Didn't, would we, you? we didn't know Every each time. other, I mean, but if it's if it's too quick and I'm in an area where someone might need it more than me, because I've I've recently took a mega bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need it, mate. Take it to a cruise. <laughs> Get a mega bus back. <laughs> <laughs> but literally I was on that I was like, I'm never doing it you've got enough to be getting the train so I'm shut up Like, but I thought I'd save a bit of cash and then take my mate for lunch whatever but I've taken that seat from someone who needed that and that's how I'd think if you're in that area is that genuinely what you thought when you were on the Megabus I've taken this from no Fuck not really you know, no one wanted it <laughs> I feel guilty about being on the Megabus <laughs> who do you think you are <laughs> Mega Markle <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> the children in Africa that are killed for a seat on this Megabus <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Don't no, deep it. No, but the thing is, like, if you're going to pay a, a train ticket fare, and then yeah. you're like, do you know what? You have to get the mega bus because you cannot afford that train. I used to, I used to stay in shit hotels when I was gigging. Yeah, I, I, I used to stay in the cheapest shittest hotel I could find because I was like, the whole point of being on the road is that you want to earn as much, you want to come out yeah, with yeah. as much profit as possible. But I was so fucking miserable that I was spending more money trying to cheer my fucking miserable yeah. ass up. Yeah. But it, it became a false economy. So, so it's, a, it's a life of a, a comic. While I'm up here in Manchester, uh, gigging at the Frog and, and the Comedy Store, I'm like, well, where could I stay? But I've got to that limited point now. I'm like, no more. Like, we've got to stay somewhere decent because yeah. your your self is your oh, you're just broken. So yeah, for someone offered me two pounds, would you want to double it? Give it? Yeah, fuck it. Like, let someone else have it in this area that needs. No, it I'm only joking. No, of course I would. Do you know, do you know what? I, I cannot stop giving money to fucking homeless people in tramps. Honestly, mm. I, I do it all the time, and I, I actually look for them to try and help them yeah. out, and I do it all the time. But if someone comes up to me and says, I probably, I don't know, I couldn't give a fuck about it too. I'll probably throw it. I'll probably just throw it away and go, shut up, you fucking cunt. <laughs> fuck for, off, get is this for a video? Is, is this for yeah. a video? Do I have to shave my head? Is there a magic box? What am I getting do you know the box? What? Do you know what I think is interesting? You know with the magic box things where they go, would you like this or would you trade it for what's in the box? I think the shitter item it is, the more likely they are to stick with it, whereas the more high value item the more likely they are to ask for what's in the box. So I think that if someone comes up to me and says, hey, would you like this water pistol or whatever's in the box? I'm like, oh, fuck it. I'll have the water pistol. It'd be a laugh. Squirt, squirt, squirt. But if someone came up to me and said, would you like this MacBook Pro or what's in the box? I would go, oh, what's in the box must be even better. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Isn't that fucking weird? The psychology of it, yeah. Yeah. You should do a degree. <laughs> doctor, doctor. <laughs> I mean, all the these human psyche. Crawling all over people's brains. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just I, I just think the more high value it is, the more the risk feels like more of a... That, that video itself is like, it's, it's desperation porn, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You're exploiting the kind of uh, yeah. fucking... You know what I mean? You just shaved your head, you div. Yeah, yeah. you got a fucking quarter. <laughs> wanker <laughs> Got it. you did it loser yeah but no one forced her to do this yeah, but you're exactly. like I like but, it but, but then the person who's making that video knows that we're all like just a little or that it seems like society is a little bit like yeah go on go on I'll do it I'll do it yeah. for a laugh and then you just end up looking like a mug yeah, good. do you know what I've you still won. did it though you know like yeah. you do look like a mug yeah you can, put, you can say it's in the edit you can say whatever blah 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 context da, 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 da. you just shaved your head yeah <laughs> I've I've seen one. There's one that keeps popping up on my fucking TikTok feed, right? Yeah. And it's this girl from America. She's an attractive blonde girl, and she wears like tight, skimpy clothing. And she goes to like beaches and stuff. And she asks weird looking guys. She's like, kiss a slap. And then if they say kiss, she'll give them a kiss. If they say slap, she'll bend over and let them slap her on her ass. And it's like, how desperate are you for fame? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd kiss her, mate. I'd probably get hold of her. <laughs> 
<laughs> you said kiss. He said, <laughs> where I'm from, this is a kiss. <laughs> oh, do you know? <laughs> have a look and see what I've sent you today. Because uh, uh, I can't even remember. It's It's been a while, so I can't actually even remember what I've... So click on bride and groom, first of all. Let's work out what's, what this is. This is an article that I found. Bride alarmed after discovering groom being breastfed by his mum before the wedding. How has that not come up beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Why do you keep popping off at Sunday lunch yeah. on Sunday for a little meal? So this was, uh, I think, on another podcast. It was a professional makeup artist speaking about the weirdest thing that she'd found, like working. And apparently just before the wedding, she walked in on the groom being breastfed. No, <sighs> come on. This is not real. It can't be real. That's just weird. That's too yeah. weird to even be real. It's I mean, it's your wedding to have a special breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, he was feeling breastfed. Did he have an arm on? <laughs> it matters. It, it matters. It does matter, I think. Do you know what I mean? You I, have to punch it off. I actually think, okay, it does matter. Did he have an arm on? I, did he? But I think, I think that you Fucking can Fucking mirror. I, Shit paper. Do your job properly. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that. Imagine that headline with and a hard on. Why an alarm? Just brackets. And he had a hard on. <laughs> but, but, but I think I, I can deal with the breastfeeding, but not the hard on. But, but I think the question. And, but then, but then, you, if he did bro. have a hard on, no, was MSM, he wanking? Mainstream media, no, but, fuck yourself. But, but, Antifa. But, but the thing is, is the question: do, Did he have an hard on? Matters in every scenario. Like, if you, <laughs> like, like if you said, if you said, "Oh, my mate, he helps out at the homeless soup kitchen." <laughs> did he have an hard on? <laughs> that ends yeah, all conversation. He did, yeah, he did. He did. He did. As a matter of fact, did he have an hard on? That always matters as a question. Uh, me and Clive, we uh, we climbed Kilimanjaro. Did you though? But did you have a hard on? Yeah. <laughs> like it's like it, it diminishes yeah. all like yeah. achievements in life. No, not yeah. unless you get to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro and then get an hard on. <laughs> <laughs> Lion King shit. Do you reckon? Hang about. Here's a question: How many people do you reckon when they climb a mountain have a wank on top of the mountain? Cold out there. Because if you can, yeah. you take me higher, high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because if you if you climbed a mountain, if you climbed Kilimanjaro, you'd, want, you'd, want, have a, shit, you'd yeah. want to have a wank on top of Kilimanjaro. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's okay. very cold though. Is that? Uh, uh, is it? Yeah. You can't really have a wank in the cold, can you? It's like the highest mountain in Africa. Who has a wank in the cold? Who <laughs> enjoys <laughs> a wank in the what, cold? What kind of weirdo has a wank in the cold? <laughs> <laughs> Real weirdos. How cold do you actually go? I'll tell you what, that's You're how definitely the definitely outside. That's, that's how this bride should have known. Oh, I've just caught Jeremy. He's gone off to wank in the cold. <laughs> he probably <laughs> breastfeeds by his mother. Like, that's weirdos. Go I mean, down and find out how he got caught. What do you mean? She, she walked in she on him. She walked in on him. Uh, Jenny should have done a the bride walked into the toilet. Into the toilet? Toilet? Oh, come on. And what's your show? Not Is baby not changing, surely. <laughs> it's laid on one of those koala beds. <laughs> into, hold on a minute. Like, into the toilet? What are you yeah. Up? Uh, but it's, to Beth's horror and to the horror of many of with your mum <laughs> <laughs> something classy a chaise <laughs> long no, <laughs> always a chaise <laughs> long mum why are we in the toilet let's get on the sofa put a dilly on <laughs> like we used to <laughs> <laughs> and how is she still lactating how well, old is this that must mean she's still what's your desperate ass wives because like you only stop Developing milk when they stop breastfeeding. Exactly. Oh, so, so that means uh, he's, been, he's been constantly doing it. Of course, Tom. It's not like they had a break for 20 <laughs> years and they went, well, seeing as how it's our wedding night, should we just no, no. suck them Or maybe, or maybe yeah, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what's happened here, right? I'll tell you what, exactly what's happened here. The geezer, he's just, <laughs> somehow he's passed it off. He's managed to weave some kind of like maternal story around it. He was just sucking her tits. <laughs> And he's 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 he's, he's birds going. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's going. Oh, breastfeeding. <laughs> he's going. Oh, fucking idiot. So, oh. so, so worse worse scenarios. I was just sucking on my mum's tits. Uh, then then come up with this story that she's been lactating for this amount of time over the years. <laughs> and and, then, and it, every time he's like, babe, I've oh, got to go around. Parent, I've got to go and sort something out of the house. He's going around to be not to not to poke a hole in your story, all right, fans. But I think it's more embarrassing to because if you just are sucking on your mum's tits 
then that's one thing. But if you're sucking on your mum's tits for breast milk, yeah, yeah. that's an extra level of embarrassment. Yeah, because that the, you didn't need. Do you, you don't need so? that calcium. I, you don't need that calcium anymore. You, <laughs> He's a grown oh, man. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Would you suck your mum's tits <laughs> yeah, for twenty? Yes. For twenty <laughs> <laughs> minutes. Yes. <laughs> Days. Was, was it the actual punch? Right. You should fucking wait next oh, time. Sorry. <laughs> no, just seconds. But yeah, you got to get there, and then now I've had to explain it. <laughs> would you rather um on a stage just mentioned about martin he's an expert at would you rather's and uh like these ones the the um some of them on the on the phone uh we've now in the whatsapp group after the stag do he sends the the deacon daily uh which is the questions for me to answer and the rest of the group can vote on them, on them as well uh so for example uh Number one, uh, this, this is six days in now. Uh, I'm a Saints fan. Saints get relegated and plummet through the leagues and end up like a Rochdale and in League Two forever and you know it's all your fault. Or, yeah. two, wank off Harry Redknapp. Sandra has already got him hard and on his way. You just have to do the vinegar strokes, but he's grunting at you all sweaty and then he spaps all over your hands and he's singing play up Pompey, but Saints stay up. So <laughs> That's the two options. So he's got, his mind is unreal. Is there a non-football related one? Just there's for anybody like, who's... Yeah, yeah. There's, 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 un, there's non-related football ones ones which is great but this is every day these would you rather's read, oh, read, have read out a non-related non-football related one. Oh right okay uh I could, whoa this is horrible okay uh, um circumcise yourself using a sharp pair of scissors provided you can do this in the car park outside a hospital and go in holding your foreskin straight away after for best chance of it being reattached if you wish brackets you can also be twatted to numb the pain close brackets or give peter andre a blowy to completion every day for a year well, I'm already circumcised, so I'm fucked on this one. <laughs> I had to put uh, Peter Andre. Uh, to be honest, I switched off during the first one, but when I heard the second one, it's like, whatever the first one was. <laughs> I've been sucking anyone's dick for a year. I love Peter Andre. So the first one was circumcise yourself with a pair of scissors. Yeah, I did it Well, I was Peter Andre for a year. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Ooh, mysterious My job. girl. Boom, done. When, when you say for a year is it Would once a day for a year or is it for a, a continuous year no once no. a day right so you got to just dread look forward what you can't look forward to um, I thought it was a continuous year no no, no no okay question every day Attack. question does he still Steve Harvey <laughs> <laughs> wow what, what, why do you want to meet him <laughs> during that year <laughs> if anyone's to meet his hero <laughs> I just figured I'd like to meet him one these, day these would you rather that involve mums and that but look Getting back to the point, the point of this breastfeeding, are they still getting through, going through with the marriage? That's the question I wanted to know. It's I don't think so. I think the marriage is off. The married, the marriage Can they not off. see past that? Can they not nah. counselling on that? Uh, all right, okay. Is that dishonesty if you keep I it in the family? Know, I, don't know what the, I don't know what the female male equivalent is, but like if you were getting Sucking married... Sucking a dad's dick? Yeah, all right, okay. So if you were, you're getting nipples, married... His nipples. You're, yeah. get, you're getting married, yeah, yeah. right? If on the wedding day oh you God. walked into a door... And your wife to be was mm. knelt down, and uh, your father in law, she was just sucking his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing the image. Would you? Would you still? Would you still marry her? <laughs> No is, the answer. <laughs> no is the answer. There's not even a hesitation on that. It's just fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. But when, when are you getting married? Uh, April. Oh yeah. How long you know her? <laughs> <laughs> this is it this is what this has all been uh, do you want to come on the, the podcast Tom yeah I would love to Freddie that'd be brilliant and then we'll get on <laughs> no, I, just, I just want to know more about you so, oh because I we know your type yeah you know my type <laughs> I told him my type I know. Uh, so five and a half years old yeah uh, that's, that's, that's good time good time to get good married time. yeah Five and a half years is a good time to get married. I, I Thank agree you. with that. Mm. But here's a question. Okay. If she, uh, if uh -uh. you walk in and yeah. she's sucking her dad's nipples, the wedding's right. off. Just just in case you're listening. We'll postpone it, Judy, I'll say. <laughs> just, just in case you're listening. What do you tell everybody? <laughs> because, yeah. because, because, because you can't go, you, you go in and you go, the wedding's off. And people go, why? You can't go, just caught her sucking her dad's nips. You have to you have to come up with an excuse. I would. I'd be thrown her under the bus. I don't want to. I don't want people. I don't want to help her and like protect her in that situation. I'd be like, yeah, it's the no, fucking weirdo was sucking her dad's nipples. Do you not think it reflects badly on you? What because well, my, my nipples, nipples aren't, aren't good enough. <laughs> my no, nipples are not good. You'd be embarrassed more about your dad thing. You know, like fuck the bird. You'd be like, yeah, oh, my dad did that. Oh, is it your dad or is it her dad? I've always heard dad. Her dad. dad, or her, dad. dad. her. It's her dad. Right? Because you're keeping it in the family. Worse? Like, what's worse? 
my dad. Yeah, yeah, if it was my Much dad. worse. Because how long has this been going on? Why has uh, this started? Uh, dad, when did it start? Your dad, but her dad watching. <laughs> Right, what, what if your dad on. is sucking her dad's nipples? Would you still get married then? <laughs> yeah, because it's not her. It's not her. She's not involved. But that, no, she's that'd watching. be really she's, weird. Can you imagine watching. if you walked in on your wedding day and your dad's sucking each other's nipples <laughs> and your reaction was to go, wedding's off. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're looking for an excuse at that point. Eh? <laughs> Couldn't possibly get married now, could we? You two are not sitting at the top table. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put someone in between them. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God. If you're a fan of Dead Men Talking, then why not check us out on tour? We are doing a tour in May. We are going to be in Liverpool, Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow, London and Leeds. You can find tickets over at deadmentalkpod.com. It's going to be Rob Mulholland doing stand-up and it's going to be me, Freddie Quinn, doing stand-up as well. And we'd love to see you come. We're going to have a chat with you all. We're going to have a drink. We're going to take some pictures. We're going to do some great dark fucking comedy and it's going to be an amazing night. So head over to deadmentalkpod.com and grab your tickets while you still can. Uh, let's see what else I've uh, I found. There's a couple of videos this time. Um, uh, we got Rat. Rat is a TikTok video. Oh, God, yeah. This isn't good. This ain't good, man. So this is a delicacy in somewhere. Oh, my word. It's dead rats. Good, they're salted. That's, That's amazing. Um, Tower Hamlets. Dead rats. She's not even taking the fur off or chopping them. Nice, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like really bad sushi, doesn't it? No, that's um. Um, no, no, no. What, what, all right, okay. My first question: If you were to like one of those like get me out of here challenges, yeah. You going top half? Of, would you go bottom of the the rat? What, so would you rather eat a rat's Take ass or a rat's head? Yeah, I've, I'm going rat's ass. I think. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going with ass. I wouldn't want the crunchiness of that. No, yeah. I want that no, but the head's head. going to be crunchy as well. Yeah. No, it's got probably got more. psychopath takes the head. Yeah, <laughs> eyeball. Anyone, anyone, it? anyone who sits here goes, no, oh, I have the half of the head. <laughs> <laughs> what the I mean, yeah, eating the head of any animal is, is weird. I, was, I, I wish might, I said head, to be I, honest. I, I might, I might try. If I was on a bush tucker trial, I would do it if there was a spicy sauce to, to dunk in. That would make it better, but just not straight out. No, so, no, oh, no, sorry. No, so, no, so, no, so your the your skull. issue with eating the fried rats is that there isn't enough flavouring. Yeah, basically, if, if I had to do, if I mean, these people are paying it for, for free, but if I was on a bush tucker trial, <sighs> nah, I, I would I would do it if there was a hot sauce. I mean, I've eaten tarantula, I've eaten cricket, I've eaten yeah, yeah, all I of that stuff. All that shit. So I, I reckon I could eat anything. The, the worst thing was I chicken. ate 10 wasps once. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I won a wasp eating competition, 10 9. This is a real thing that Went a leg into the night. Have I told this Have I told this about guys before? You've told me. I really wanted it. No, no, no. Tell tell these two because I ate a. I I won a wasp competition, a wasp eating competition. He he just never gets hold as a sentence. Yeah, yeah, it's a good sentence, isn't it? So I was at this uh, uh, brewery and there's other wasps and we were catching wasps. I dared my mate to eat one. He dared me to eat one. And then the game was first to 10 wins and I won 10 9. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. They're alive, they're dead. They're dead as, now. As your mate, no, no, I know they're dead now. Yeah, they're dead when I hit him. Yeah, yeah. How's your mate getting on now, though? He's buzzing, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, That's hey. your one. That's good. Yeah. So I, I reckon I could eat any animal. Mm. Nah. I, I didn't like it blended once, like a milkshake of snails, pig's feet. Yeah, yeah, is all what? blended together for a milkshake. It was again. I was being paid, so I so I I got on and did it. But why uh, did you do that? What? Who was paying you? It was a radio show, but I but I did it for like radio. Oh, the camera. The camera's running. If they'd have said to me, Tom, you can either do this or the mystery box. I'd <laughs> yeah. have done the mystery box. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, a thousand times. What's the last thing? I I have a feeling that the last one's quite bad. Prison. Oh I no, Prison Island's brilliant. I think I've seen. Is this in South America? So Prison Island is something that you can watch on the dark web. Oh, yeah. um, you're going to need to turn this is something I found on Instagram uh, but we have to watch we have to do a watch along for this right. uh, turn the volume up yeah. so if you play it and make sure the volume's up here's another good site on the dark web so the site is called Prison Island and it claims to be the best reality TV show available only on the dark web apparently it's really similar to Love Island um, except it uses people within the Florida State Penitentiary system <laughs> I guess they're on season four now, and these are the contestants. 
Apparently, this guy, Ned, is Fucking back from season two. So good for him. We keep advertising the Prison Island Super Subscriber Package, which apparently makes it available on mobile. Yeah, these people who, I guess, also uploaded pictures of themselves uh, seem to rate it really well. So, I mean, I'm sold. So that is uh, a, a program that they've made on the dark web, and it's literally just a live footage of Florida State Penitentiary, and they've turned it into like a Love Island spinoff. But you're not getting audio, are you? That's, sorry, that's not my first are they, concern. <laughs> are, they, are they shagging? <laughs> you say Love Island spinoff. Are, are, are they doing bits? Are, are they, they coupling I've up? I've got a text. I've got a text. <laughs> <laughs> He's my type on paper. <laughs> that's... How are they getting the feed? It was, uh, there's so many questions there. Ned would probably be my favourite out of those profiles. Though. Yeah, yeah. Ned I'm a hundred percent watching it. I, I, I would, I'd lose hours to that. I'd lose, honestly, live prison feeds. I'd lose hours. Fucking, what's it called in jails? Uh, Ninety day banged up. What's it fucking? No, called? That's, uh, yeah, I know what, exactly what you mean. Three hundred days in jail. Or yeah, probably. yeah, yeah. And they, they basically, it's like, oh yeah. I want to find out who's selling the drugs in the prison or whatever, and then they nominate someone to go in and pretend to be a prisoner. I fucking love that shit, man. Them yeah. American jails look horrendous. Have you seen this um, uh, this mega prison in what? South America? Oh, yeah. They, they got it's fucking crazy. They? They got it's moved. El Salvador, basically, they've rounded up everyone who's in a gang or got gang tattoos, everyone, and they've put them in this fucking mental prison. Put what, them- what? They've put every arch gang... Every every look, every there's, rival. There's two thousand people, <gasps> but they're not going to be they're like they're. F- it's fucking severe, man. They're yeah. like this all the time. Yeah, but the thing is, here's the thing on the dark web. I've got the perfect idea. It's battle royale. Right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They fight to the death. I'd watch that, mate. That's that- basically what they're doing here. They, they, they're locking up. They're locking them up forever. They're going to put forty thousand people in. They've all got like a meter square each. They shave their heads. They make them sit. Look, look how they're sat. They're like sat like that all the time. Fuck. They've got no room at all. And they just f- there's, losers, a, there's a little video. Man, losers. <laughs> oh my god! Look, this don't have no sympathy for them. Look, they're gangbangers. They'll cut your throat in a heartbeat for your watch, for your yeah. phone, for your fucking car. Does for it your say kids. what the what the um the food's like? Do they get <laughs> what was the food like? <laughs> Do they have to have the rat? Is that where the rat comes in? Ten wasps. <laughs> Ten <laughs> wasps in there. That's what you get. But yeah, they're, they're locking them up for like oh. 30 years, so they're all just, uh, their lives are just right. over, basically. They're Are they just... trying to make it a tourist destination yeah. now? Hey, we got all the gangs, so get oh, yourself oh, to El Salvador. Honestly, we are not far away from fucking Battle Royale, are we? No. We are not far. It feels like end of days to me. Those white shorts as well. No, I think it? that's my phone brainwashing me. In a, in a fucking prison with no toilet paper where everyone's trying to kill you, those white shorts are, I mean, those are skid marks waiting to happen, aren't they? Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking yeah, it's brutal. The tattoo guy owns a few quid round those ways, though, doesn't yeah. he? <laughs> <laughs> those guys yeah, but don't fuck it up. Walking story. Look at that. They have the to thing be- is, this sort of that, right, let me get into it about tattoos. See these fuckers, like, they, all these tattoos mean something. It'll be their gang, their kids, their whatever. They're the boom, 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 boom. Have a look at TikTok, Instagram. I'm a bit of an expert on TikTok and Instagram. I've do these TikTok mug-offs, blah, yeah. blah. I've, done, I've watched the requisite 10,000 hours of these cunts. So I am an yeah. expert in this phenomenon that is the TikToker. And all these fucking divs smothered in tattoos who've never left their bedrooms. You know what I mean? With the lights up yeah, and all yeah. that. You ain't got a story to tell. Whereas these guys are my real brothers. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's just yeah. what I wanted to say. I mean, we did try getting a few on, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> that them tattoos mean something. I don't want to see tattoos that mean nothing. You know I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I just yeah. like squares within squares. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this, yeah, I killed five people. This is why I have this... Walking, you know. talking teeth on TikTok. Just fucking smothering tattoos. I mean, seven people have got tattoos of our logo now. Have they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we've got seven tattoos. Uh, varying quality. Yeah, but that means something. That means well. that, you know what I mean? That yes, it means we've got to change the fucking logo. You're part of their life. No, simple <laughs> yeah. as that. Of course the, it does. The first, That's a privilege, that the, is. The first, time we, um, the first time we had one person get tattooed, we had a genuine serious convers- uh, conversation about changing the logo and changing the name of the podcast. <laughs> 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 and just change it to something else. Just <laughs> I mean, it's a great... <laughs> meaningless tattoo on themselves. <laughs> it's a great... It is a great logo. Well, that's why we didn't change it's it. And also, studio. it's on fucking everything. Yeah, it'd be too expensive. It's no, good studio, man. It's cosy in here. But that's... um That prison, that's, that's not going to go well. No. Something's no, going to happen. When they... Riot. When they riot, yeah, and when they escape. How much, how much, genuinely, to spend a year in that prison? How much? There isn't an amount of money. There is no amount of money that would do that. 
Oh, of course there is. Right? If you gave me a billion pounds, you probably wouldn't survive. So, yeah, yeah. all right. Okay. Be, so, okay, so here's the life? thing: the loved ones you, will get so, it. So you cannot yeah. die for that for the amount of time that you're in there. Yeah. They can do loads of stuff to you. You can do whatever you want, nah. but you can't die. No, no, I still you, do. The, the, the scar, the mental. You could end up being an absolute that. boss in there, though. To be honest, I don't think I could. El loco inglesi. Inglesi. Yeah, you could. There's a chance. You know what I mean? You could live the high life. Yeah. Hey, you please tell me. Chuck up a few dreams left, what, right, and centre. He's gonna get a little crew together. King what, Gringo. Do what does this tattoo mean? It's an anchor. Because <laughs> 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 my grandfather was in the navy. <laughs> yeah. He oh, said, God. "My tattoo on my back say only God may judge me." <laughs> <laughs> it's very deep. It I also <laughs> have a barbed wire around my foot. Yeah. Who, is, is, who is this dead man working? <laughs> it is a podcast that I quite like. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Senor Little Tom, he ran this prison. <laughs> the uh, five foot six Englishman, he in what, charge around here. What about a week? A week for a, a, week. a, a week. million. million quid, yeah. Seven maybe. days. Maybe. Uh, Craig David amount of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah one probably, mil. I could probably try that for a million pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A I week is, a, look, it's a week. the worst week ever, but with, look, with what, a year. 150 grand a day? Yeah. About fucking 10 grand an hour, whatever. It'd, make it, it it, it'd make it easier. You'd be like, this is really shit, but I'm getting 150 grand a day, in it. Why don't you just take one person to the side and be like, look, who's, which one of you... Um, who's the artist? Yeah, yeah. Which one of you <laughs> is in every charge film happens. No, no, no. Just be like, listen, right? I'm getting paid silly money to be here for a week. I'll give you 500 right? grand if you look after me. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Honestly, I'll be out in a fucking week, a, a million of your fucking pesos or whatever, just to n look after me and not kick the fuck out of me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 maybe. That's a good uh, tactic. Yeah. I would, I would, I wouldn't <clears throat> tell them how much I was getting. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would, yeah, I would take, yeah. Well. I'm getting hundred grand. You can have I, I would do the mega bus amount. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll give you two quid or the mystery box no. if you look after me. <laughs> Shave you? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Imagine if the bloke was like, "I want a million and one pounds to protect you." And you're like, Fuck! I'm gonna come out of here with a loss. <laughs> yeah. This is shit. Uh, I've got another story here about. Um, <laughs> this is a funny body in wardrobe. Yeah. Uh, what? Woman? woman finds husband body in wardrobe eight months after reporting him missing. <laughs> Fuck right off. Look how ugly she is. For... <laughs> yeah, that means she did it. I don't know which one's the dead one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really soon. That missing. is someone who doesn't clean. <laughs> uh, a woman made the horrifying discovery of her husband's body inside a wardrobe eight months after he was reported missing. Jennifer Mage reported her husband, Richard Mage, as a missing person on... But did he have an erection? Officers <laughs> reportedly searched the home at least twice, while a plumber was also said to eventually fix the smell. Because she noticed this horrible smell. And then it turns out he was just in the fucking wardrobe. Oh, come wait, on. wait, 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 wait. She's got a smelly ass. That's <laughs> <laughs> wait. So in oh, the ward, like stinks. like you go in the wardrobe every. Where do her clothes go? Oh, it's maybe his cupboard. It's obviously his wardrobe. I'm th I'm I'm thinking that she's got her own area. They look like successful two people. Very I mean, they don't look life. successful. It's, they're very successful for where they live in St. Louis. It's a hoarder <laughs> home. So they were hoarders. Um, the horrifying discovery was made eight months when Jennifer went to retrieve some Christmas decorations. Jennifer From claims she rarely so. visited the closet as it was always stuffed with tons of rubbish. So he's obviously gone in there, hasn't he? He don't look like a hoarder, though, does he? The, Go up. What sort of hoarder bothers with like decorating owns, for Christmas? Looks like yeah. <laughs> looks she's got fucking loads of Christmas <laughs> decorations as well. Yeah. Oh, I better make these newspaper piles look festive. What the fuck? Well, it, looks like, it says there, Troy Police said they suspect no foul play in Richard's death. I think they... What are you on about? They go, oh, we haven't got time for I this. I think they just don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, one of the people from that weird smelly house has died. <laughs> Fine, been, whatever, John. It's been ruled as a suicide. You commit suicide in the fucking wardrobe. <laughs> Trying to get to uh, Narnia. Yeah, most people do, I think. We'll most? quite a popular spot. Is it? Oh, For asphyxiation so, yeah. wanks, potentially. It is, it really is. Yeah, maybe that's what he's doing. Yeah, doing a little David Carradine. Yeah. yeah. I'm not happy about Even that. Even so, so, I think she's killed him. Well, yeah. now, now, every, now everyone will be thinking, oh, this, is, this, is, this is the, <laughs> well, this is the silver bullet. Him? This is me to get away with murder. <laughs> <laughs> Storing bodies in cupboards. I don't know about that. The wardrobe of all places. Yeah. No, I don't buy that at all. Why would you be in a wardrobe unless you were like asphyxi wanking? 
Exactly. Is no, that... I think people do look, go. If wardrobes are popular. I mean, see. If it's hide and seek, yeah. Well, there's only so many places. <laughs> <laughs> No, what I mean? Inside the home. I know. If, if, they've been everywhere around here. Where else is it to go? It's only with fittings, I mean. It's not a holiday. If you are going to have a little bit of bitty off your mum, <laughs> maybe the wardrobe is a good place to hide yeah. for that. I don't know. Maybe that's why she killed him. Because he was sucking his mum's titties. Yeah. Lucky to have a wardrobe you can fit in. Fucking hell. What are the other two ones have you got? Uh, we've got Gran. Oh, this. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, Gran, uh, 62, wants eighth baby with husband almost 40 years younger than her. Right, okay. Look at how old she looks. That is, honestly, that's 90 Day Fiancé. That's what that is. Yeah, is yeah. Is it? Uh, that, I, mean, I mean, as a programme. turbo, oh, right. yeah, yeah, turbo, acid style. I'll tell you what, the, uh, there isn't uh, an awful lot of... Um, uh, black guys that rock a dyed blonde uh, Xavier Javier beard. the Portuguese uh, player remember him yeah, yeah Abel Abel Xavier. Xavier yeah 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 imagine if it was him now what's, <laughs> what's Abel Xavier up she, to yeah she shagging should, pensioners she shouldn't be in a sunny climate with her skin her like, skin, like, wrinkly her, she needs to get inside her skin looks like uh, the Nevada desert you know like, yeah. like <laughs> you know like the land in like Arizona that's just arid and cracked it looks like the a land snake that time forgot <laughs> yeah if she went to El Salvador dinosaurs. they'd think that that was tattooing on her face <laughs> like, I reckon you could brutal. do lines of coke off her forehead look at that I reckon she's going to find his body in one of the creases in her face <laughs> <laughs> why why does she want another child that's the the question. Listen, we need to focus on him. What the fuck is he thinking? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he looks like yeah, Dennis she, Rodman she's a little bit. She's the one winning out of the pair of them, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. What is he fair. doing? Oh, wow. Do you know what? what? Love is love. And if they want to do that, no, then that's absolutely fine. No, it's not. No, love. if love is love, that's love nice. conquers all. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's shit. I like the, I like the fact dead. that picture there. She's a fucking mermaid. Dead mermaid. She's done her nails nicely. Don't be like that. She's done her nails oh, nice. It looks like listen, they're in the toilet and that is a vending really, machine for she condoms must have an on the side. Personality. Simple as that. Or when, loads of money. When your face is that bad, what are your nails doing really? A distraction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a, a, a mucky car with one really polished No, rim. she yeah. looks like a baddie off Scooby-Doo. You know, look when... <laughs> you need, no, look, one of the old, Before they take the mask up. <laughs> one of the extras of Scooby-Doo. Her face know. needs ironing. <laughs> She's, she's, she's fucking oh hell. Fucking <laughs> hell. No. The more you scroll down, the older she gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, love is love. Oh, nice guy. I like this. When I hear people listen to how he talks, love is love. That's I know. A nice, nice, He's a lovely fella, isn't he? Oh, he looks yeah, so happy. Yeah, nice lovely fella. He won't be Very saying nice that. Won't be saying that if his uh, dad and father in law were sucking each other's nipples. <laughs> Yeah, what is off? How dare yeah. you ruin my day? Yeah. He's basically he's very homophobic. That's that's what yeah. it is. Love so, is love as long as it's between a man and a woman. Save that energy for when you come home from work and you go to your mum's and your dad's in there in the front room with a fucking dress on or something. Yeah. Love is love. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Shall we have a lovely I feel, question? I feel, like, I feel like the edibles kicked in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we have a lovely Didn't question? Mean to expose my dad like that live on. <laughs> Tom's lovely question. Oh, isn't that lovely? If a 12-year-old child with terminal cancer's last dying wish was used for you to fuck them, would you do it and how much would make a wish have to pay you? And that's, that's from sent in from somebody called Lauren. That's from Lauren. Lauren. Yeah. I'd block Lauren. I personally, I'd block Lauren for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so would I would. Hate... Yeah, call me a Tory, but fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> Lauren, you're all right, love. Lauren, I don't care about your 12-year-old. Yeah, so, so, uh, 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 so I would say... No, I wouldn't do no, it. No. Like, just because it's their dying wish doesn't mean that you have to fucking do I'm, it. Yeah, sorry, sure. right? Oh, Lauren look, wants could, a bit of attention, to be honest. Can we just discuss the fact, and I, I've, I love this show, uh, it's an absolute privilege to be on. I'm, uh, so I don't know what's happening here. You've put that under silly, as opposed to <laughs> fucking dark. Yeah. There's yeah, two yeah. columns, and that doesn't go under dark. I'm worried about the wrong next color. couple of questions. Yeah, wrong, wrong <laughs> column for yeah, that one. That is a silly question, apparently. <laughs> it's just a li little bit of fun. A little daft. I wouldn't, no. No, no. I just wouldn't. No. And they go, Gay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, so dark is, the alternative is if your three-year-old was abducted. Yeah, if your three-year-old was abducted, at what point would you not want them yeah, back? Yeah, no, they should just got to, I'd, I'd personally I'd switch them and yeah. block, still block Lauren. <laughs> yeah. um, so if your three-year-old was abducted, at what point would you not want them back? Oh, I'd yeah. go full Liam Neeson, mate. I'd, lo I'd love it in a way. 
It'd be, you know, like you, you ever wanted a chance, a chance to be a psycho? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You always yeah. want someone to fucking start. Mate, you? honestly, sometimes I'll go dreaming into, up scenarios. I'll go into the Trafford Centre around, uh, you, you know, around Manchester, and I will have a scenario, particularly around Christmas. I'll have a John McClane scenario playing in my head oh, where it gets mate. taken over by terrorists, and I hide in some clothes in a shop, <laughs> and there's only me left, and I just take them all down. Do you listen to music when you're at? Headphones, you yeah. know, yeah, no, I, I do. don't, but if you do, it's dangerous because you start thinking you're in the film, you know, like, yeah, you yeah. Play the right music, and you walk through and you think, shit, I am John McClane, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I have often thought about the film Falling Down, Michael Douglas, he just yeah. goes nuts, like, yeah. I love it, yeah, I would, no, I want, yeah, yeah, no, I want a breakfast sandwich, yeah, 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 I yeah. would, I would, I genuinely, so yeah, I think onto something there. Three, you would just you would tear it up and even if I, I've got no skills <laughs> no skills but the reality of it is I five have... minutes later you're just getting nicked <laughs> <laughs> your face down in a puddle outside fucking <laughs> shopping centre Greg's just think, yeah. I just needed some fuel before I go on a tear yeah, up. Yeah. but yeah it, I, I, you would want to do that that's your only opportunity yeah man to that's the dream isn't it that would be really funny actually is if they remade that whole sort of genre and it was like you know your kid got kidnapped or whatever and then there was like a, a an old boy montage yeah. You know, where they're like training up or whatever and they're, they're fighting that fucking brick wall or whatever and punching their knuckles and they're fucking balancing water and shit at 3 a.m. and stuff. And then they walk straight into the compound and just get shot. <laughs> <laughs> just instantly bullet through the head, dead. Yeah, and yeah. I do like the leanness of it. I can't get a flight till Thursday. Like it's just <laughs> the idea that he's been just waiting at the, at the airport, cannot get a flight. Um, I, I, I'm I agreed with that. I, just, I wouldn't, there's no time. Just get out there. Three-year-old. Go and find. No, 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 I know. But, 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 but um, if, they, if they've had them for a year, then do you still want them back? What, for the fear that they'll come back? I no, don't recognise No, no, because here's the thing. Like, do they the want thing. Maddie back now? Well, this is the question, right? Mm. So if it's like, if 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 your three-year-old goes missing, very sad, I feel for you. But if they come back in 15 years' time and you've got a fucked-up 18-year-old, it's like, mate, your bedroom's yeah. an office. And yeah. it, has yeah. been, <laughs> it has been for many years We've now. We've moved on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What am I going to do with my Twitch career now? Um, yeah. We've got nothing in common anymore. <laughs> uh, I would t- I would, so it would not want them back yeah, yeah, yeah. over 10 years. But you still want them back, but not... Maybe not to live with you. <laughs> not to live with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they'd be thirteen at that point. Worst years, teenage years, difficult enough yeah. as it is. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a. Hmm. I think ten years. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd, I'd like to know minutes. what their life's like. Is it better or worse than it would be with me? And I make the judgment call on like sliding doors. What's <laughs> so basically? I go tell me what's the situation. Oh, they're having a much better life than I could provide. We'll we'll let them. <laughs> oh no, they've been kidnapped. They're being raped every day. Like it's, oh, it's well, a shitty well, now time. Now you put it like that. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, this isn't like it's a wonderful life type. Oh, yeah. oh fuck it. They've not been kidnapped by like a really nice man. Because <laughs> nice people don't kidnap yeah. people. I'm Women are bad to, as well, I'm going Tom. to kidnap this child so that I can shower him with presents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Do you like sweets it's and puppies? Kids you got packed up. The thing is, when I was a kid, I swear I'll probably, I'll probably wrote to Michael Jackson. Probably wrote to Jimmy to ask him to get in touch with Michael to let me get over there for one of his sleepovers, to be honest. And if he'd have said, hey, yeah, you can come to Neverland, my mum and dad probably would have let me go, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I in think, the I 80s, think, 90s, yeah. you probably wouldn't yeah. have. Yeah. My mum and dad definitely would have. Do you know what I mean? Like, got it, really. It sounds class. I think it's worth the bumming. Go to Neverland. Neverland? Yeah, yeah. A What's roller sick? coaster is worth a bumming. He meets Michael Jackson the night. He's maybe sick. It's not mates, though, is it? It's not mates if he wants just one thing. Mm. Yeah, well. Sick. Right, it's never proven, so can we all just calm down? Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's never, <laughs> never proven. I mean, there was a there was a lot of noncy behaviour. Yeah. Noncy behaviour doesn't mean he's penetrated. Um, <laughs> if three or... I've done, what point would you not... I think just after a day. Yeah. <laughs> One day, have a, have a. Yeah. No, have I you got don't. kids? I don't have kids. Have you got kids? No. Have you got kids? No. The thing is with this one, I don't want to be like that dad guy, but they're kind of like, these questions to me, they're just like, man, I want to go crazy, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the edibles defo kicked in. <laughs> it's Vietnam. I need the Vietnam music. Yeah. If you play that fucking... Credence Clearwater Revival and walk me through a shopping centre with a gun, yeah. I'll spray it up. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Even if your no, child no is nowhere away. near where you're yeah. spraying it up, you're just spraying yeah, it up. Yeah, but they're the kind of dreams you have, aren't they? You know what I mean? Yeah. Play the wrong music, baby. 
<laughs> That's how Freddy gets to sleep, is by fantasizing about killing people. Yeah, so I've said this before. I, I fantasize about being a sniper. And that's, and that's how I... I'm a terrorist. I foil attacks. You foil attacks. I've done yeah. that before as well. Yeah. In, my, in my dream. <laughs> yeah. I foil terrorist attacks. What, what terrorist music do you shit. follow? Do, do, do you foil terrorist attacks to? Oh, I don't know about that one. Well, probably Vietnam stuff. That would be more like... I don't know. I mean, you're very much haunted by a war that you were never at, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you weren't there, man. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, Forrest Gump crazy. will do that to you. <laughs> crazy world. Good film. Right. Let's watch some videos. Um, you guys send us in these videos to uh, send them via WhatsApp only to 07520 As always, the rules are no animals, no death, no racism, no kids, unless it's all four, in which case, yeah, fuck it. Um, so. I can't remember. There's a lot to choose from here. I can't remember what, what any of these videos are because I put them up like three weeks ago. So, Okay, before we start, is there anything that gets you from a video perspective? Is there anything you watch where you... Well, you want me to cry or... No, just be <laughs> violently sick. Is there anything... Uh, that... No, no, no. No, we're fine. You, 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 you <clears> got quite that. a uh, strong constitution. Uh, not when I eat things, so we should you should be fine watching. Any Anything that gets you all right, Yeah, no I, uh, no, I mean, this won't... Uh, no, no, this is going to upset me, but I get upset really easily. You know, like if I start seeing like blind kids and things like that. No kids. Not no, allowed. Yeah, you know, I mean, There's like no blind kind of kids. Stuff, you know, like, like, I don't know, like kids dying and shit. You know? yeah, there's people, no kids dying. Old oh, people cool. crying is my kryptonite. Yeah. If I see an old person cry, I'm like, oh, you've, you've done me in here. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take exactly. the mystery yeah. box. So. Even, even what did they have a hard on? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this day of an hour, yeah. But I like being upset. That's the other. I, I, I owe myself harm by looking for it. Do you know what I mean? I punish myself. Okay. With the music I listen to, the, the things I like watching, you know what I mean? When I'm on my own. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a bit of a, like, I need it, you know, to yeah. feel alive sometimes. Do you know what? Truth. Do you know what's mad is that you could give me a video of a man and is being brutally tortured in front of his family and I will feel nothing. Like, like as he screams out to his children and says, please help me, your daddy is in more pain than he's ever been in his life. I'll feel nothing. But if you show me a picture of a sad dog, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, he's a sad dog. Oh, my God. Just Hitler face. was like that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't care about people, but really liked dogs. <laughs> I've never really... And he achieved I've, fucking shitloads. I've never, I've For a never bit. Had a, have you had a dog? Yeah, I've got one now. Have you? Yeah. Have you got a dog? I've got one now, yeah. Have you got a dog? No, i got a cat. Oh, okay. Have you well, never had a dog? You know, no, I've, I've had two cats, but I've, I've never had a dog. No, a dog. dogs are great. It's it's unconditional love all of the time. Yeah, yeah. Even when they they've been a dick. Even like I've got a two year old. Little I've dog. never understood the extra passion you get for a dog. I've had a cat, and I, I kind of had a cat, and I liked it, and I didn't really give a fuck about it. But that's this, see, that's dog the thing. owners. That's what the thing. is that extra bit? Cat. Leap. Uh, okay, cool. You don't want me to stroke you. Okay, cool. Yeah. The dog's just constantly like, hey, what are we doing? It's like you've got this second person that's constantly with you when, that needs you. Yeah. You can't just leave them because they're like, where, where did when you go? When you wake up in the morning, your dog looks at you like it is the happiest moment of its life yeah, yeah. that it gets to see you in the morning. It's, it's not possible to look at a dog that is just so buzzed to see you and be dead inside. It's not possible. Yeah. Oh, wait till you have kids, man. I'm not sounding patronising. Uh, it comes out patronising. You know what I mean? But uh, it's just such a like. Imagine that times yeah. ten. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Well, this is this is our. No one right. tells you how shit it is as well. The not <laughs> yeah. the one the the, the ten percent of the things and time. It's a fucking amazing. This baby stage I'm on about. Once they get a bit older, it's all amazing. But that baby stage, that first fucking year, just be warned. No one ever tells you how shit it is. Yeah, because ninety percent of the time it is fucking horrible. But the ten percent uh, is heavier. Yeah. So the 10% might look smaller because it's only 10% of 90%, but that weighs heavier, so it outweigh, it's but worth it. I've got I, I've, I've got intrusive dark thoughts, so my worry about having a child, particularly a baby, is I'd just be like, what if I just shook this? Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, what if I just, like that? What if I just did it? I think you're too lazy for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that... Uh, no. <laughs> I know that Mick Ferry was too on much there. cardio. I for you. struggled with it anyway, but I love my kids. I just got to say that. The uh, Mick Ferry was was sat in this chair not that long ago. Yeah, and um, just one of the best jokes about like, do you ever look at baby and just think, oh, I can I could kick this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's just this brilliant joke. We it's dark intrusive thoughts that just yeah. oh, he's, he's totally fucking bang on. And speaking of people kicking babies. Uh, what have we got sent in? Uh, well, I, I think just choose one. I can't remember what any of these are. Okay, so. can I go with? Um, uh, stamp, please. Oh, yes. I do remember stamp. Oh, of course you do. Go on. 
Oh shit, shit, move the thing. <gasps> that wasn't what I just. Oh, no, let me... oh man, I'll just do it again. Dude, what are we doing here? Come on. The v- VLC what crashed. My, uh... Oh, uh, oh, 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 uh, oh, I, I, oh, so, so what I'm watching oh, is, shit. It, it look, it's a woman's foot yeah, and she is stamping on a man's bollocks. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's paying for it. <laughs> oh my but, but hang God. On. But how and are they not bursting? How are they not bursting? Yeah, yeah, uh, they're not bursting. Oh, oh he's so bad. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. That is so... That guy's cock and balls look like the guy's hand with cancer. (laughs) It's the same colour. Wait a minute. (laughs) That's not a hand at all. No wonder he's got cancer. That's one of the most painful things I've ever seen. That's weak, isn't it? Because that was a solid contact. Normally you could see him slipping either side of the foot, maybe. But some of them were squashed down. Right, let's do blow your nose next. Blow your nose. Oh, oh yeah, man. this is just a disgusting. This is just disgusting. There's a cow. Yeah, and it's shit's a bit clogged up. It's, it's, it's a cow with shit in its nose, and they're pulling shit out of its nose. Oh, dude. Ah, the cow can't breathe, so this is just normal stuff. Yeah. But that is a glupius sacuous uh, sack to another sack. And the noise, the cow is loving this. Oh, what a job. Who's got to do it? How do you know so much about this? I don't know anything about this, but I just know that this farmer's like, that. this is my prize cow. If you've got a block... Oh, it's a syringe now. A syringe just to... Like, you would do that with a baby, don't you? If they, they've got a blocked nose, you got... Yeah, nah, you yeah. just make another one. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> <Just> <laughs> throw in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact this cow's got hay fever. The, the farmer's like, what am I, where am I going to put it now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It lives in a field. Oh, that. That's horrific. This cow is going to be so grateful. Look, the thing is, the bloke before had his ball stamped on, and you're like, he's fucking weird. Whereas oh this, my is, God. this is necessary. Oh. How much to eat that? Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> Fried? Right. Has it got chili sauce? That, that, you've got to eat it like that. Right. Bro, no, out the nose. you got to eat right. out the nose. Okay, so, so that, or a day in that, uh, El Salvador prison. Yeah, I'd eat that over the prison. I think. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think. I think. Uh, any... I mean, I would be sick violently immediately. I've got no digest. I can't. I can't. Anything you two want to watch on there? Anything? Yeah. What what, what what stands out? Uh, it says bus wanker. Uh, bus wanker. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, there we go. Felt, felt like I was on question. Of sport this is there definitely in the UK, isn't it? This is someone driving yeah, yeah. along in the car. They're what going... are you doing, mad con? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, you weirdo? So that's somebody led on a bus stop just having a wank? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when the moment takes you. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Ow. Is it, what I liked about that, if, if I could put, put the one only thing, is the fact the guy's got a hoodie on, he's put it over his face. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get recognised, does <laughs> 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 he's completely trousers down and he's just going if I just close my eyes I could think lovely thoughts but to be fair this is the thing I've been saying for years at bus stops there just needs to be some sort of entertainment <laughs> otherwise a TV screen it's a bit of porn just how's something the, how's that edible alright fans alright mate <laughs> <laughs> to be honest yeah they're good man I was just I was trying to read what that next one is but yeah I was just focusing on that but let's have a look I at, think I've done alright you've got you've blue done nose. Great. you've done great but I glanced over you just look so happy oh, Oh, yeah, I'm all right, mate. Yeah, um, knife off, knife kick. Let's have a look at knife kick. Knife kick. Let's go. N- no. Oh! Oh! Stupid fucking idiot. It's just a guy kicking a knife. Kicking a knife. You stupid cunt. Yeah. Oh, mate, what shot. did he think was going to happen? Well, I think I think he knew what was going to happen oh, and he did fuck. it anyway. Yeah, that was hard to watch. Uh, what is bagpipes? Bagpipes, let's have a look at this one. Where'd you find this stuff? People send them. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is funny. I've this seen is funny. This. So you're typing it. Oh, all right, friends. <laughs> it is, isn't it? So this, is a, this is a big woman. Big lady. Big lady who's picked up a guy. Who's erect. He is erect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has he got a hard on? <laughs> and he's playing him like the bagpipes. <laughs> oh, oh God. Why is he moving his toes like that? Come on, Scotland, and a little football. <laughs> I'll tell you man, what. Scottish man. 
I'll t- I- tell you what, that girl looks like somebody you'd want to help you move house. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't want to suck in my cock, I wanted to help move house. Exactly. <laughs> you know, work on the apprentice, mate. <laughs> Uh, I'm not talking about. No, it's okay. Right. Do you want to watch Tube? This guy knows my type. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Let's watch Tube. Oh no, I don't know if I do actually. Is, a, is that just a tube? That's a tube. Oh gosh, where's it come out of? I don't what? know. It's come out of cow's somewhere. nose. Well, I don't oh, know about this. oh, you're gonna cut into it. This is someone cutting into a tube. Oh, it's just, it's just custard. <laughs> Everywhere. Is this your tube? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh Do you know what that looks like? It looks like peppercorn sauce. Got, that's all hair it does, in it. Doesn't it? <laughs> it's got hair and teeth got, in it. It's got teeth in it? Yeah, they grow teeth, don't they, tumours? I have no idea. Yeah. Do they? Tumours grow hair and teeth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? No, no, no. They do. Fingernails and stuff. Why? Because it's just... It's DNA. the cells. Yeah, yeah, it's the, the cells that grow, they grow extra bits. Do you know what? I, um, our Fuck sink, hell. our kitchen sink wasn't draining for a while and I had to go underneath into the pipes. You know what I mean? Not like the bagpipes. And um, I had to, I mean, that's pretty much what came out. It's horrible. Doing anything like that was grim. Uh, that's not, that's not fun. That just feels... What? What's do, I, do I get to take tokens back to where I live so we can eat tonight after watching this? It feels like yeah. it's just like a <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll keep going, but... We'll do one more. Should, Should we, we do, do trap? Trap. Trap sounds good to me. <laughs> Jesus. No, 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 no. Why no. Why no. It's it's like a bear shot. trap. Oh. So, Why are you doing? I think that's a rat trap. Oh, it's going to be his balls. Side. It's going to be his balls. If he's putting his dick in that. Yeah, not his balls. balls. Not his balls, he said. You have to get him back. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, he's not putting his dick in a fucking rat trap. Great, castratus. Oh my god, this ball. Like oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Get it off. Get it off. <laughs> And you know, yeah, that's really laughter, isn't it? You know, we do them laugh. <laughs> you evil cunt. <laughs> and yet, that is how the first video we watched, the guy had his balls stamped on. That's how it starts. <laughs> that is the gateway. He's just oh. put his balls in a trap. It's been clapped on. Yeah. And then you'll be paying women to stamp on oh, them. I can't see him doing that again. I fucking felt that watching that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's yeah. Naughty stuff. Fair right. Man, homeboy. Well, you have all earned the right to plug whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> um, what do you want to plug, uh, all right, fans? Plug my stuff. Yeah. Right. So I've got, uh, I've come off Twitter for a bit, but you can follow me on Twitter if you want. All right, fans. Uh, Instagram, all right, fans. But more importantly, the Patreon. That's where all the full videos are. And I just, you'll like it. Five a month. Or four pound fifty a month if you're if you've you know like cost of living and that. And yeah, that's it. That's what so, I do. So, so how do yeah. they get onto that Patreon? Dunno, go on patreon.com. <laughs> all right, fans. I'm rubbish with computers, look. Patreon, all right fans. Go on Patreon, there'll be a box put in there, all right fans. There's my channel. There's a link on your Twitter you'll and like stuff, it. right? Basically what I do is I do loads of loads of oh you you'll like it. And I'll mug people off and I'm a piss taking cunt. And I, but I earn my money. I'm a good person. So that's what I do. That's how I feed my family. Come and have a look. Can I, can I vouch for that, actually? I've never met All Right fans. Really nice bloke. Lovely day. So uh, she, good she's day. Done. Check out. We'll, it's been a great day. We'll put a great link day. as well in the uh, in the YouTube description so you can click on that. Anything you want to plug, uh, Tom Deacon? Uh, Tom Deacon Comedy is my Instagram. I should do far more online. I don't. Uh, if you want to watch an old series of what, if you like football, then the Eurofan is something I used to do. Um, but um, in the future, if you want to know about a really shit football team that I love and support, Southampton, then I have a podcast called We March On. Other than that, I see you at um, a, a comedy gig near to wherever these good people who are listening are at. And if you've enjoyed uh, the podcast, Dead Men Talking, uh, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. Uh, and for just three quid a month, you get an extra episode. You get access to all the special content that we film uh, and loads of other stuff as well and discounts on merch. Uh, if you want to get merch, you can find it at deadmentalkpod.com. You can get your merch there along with the live show um, dates that are in May. They are in May. That's everything, isn't it? I think, I think so. Follow yeah. me on Twitter. F- follow Dead Man Tom on Twitter. Follow Tom on Twitter. Yeah. Please. Thanks. Tom's great. You, sorry, sorry. Do you want to plug something as well, Tom? Uh, no, tough. You can't. <laughs> right. Fuck off. See you later. Thanks Bye. for having me. Thank you. Take-